Vons, Vonettes, in the building, you heard me? Skills unmatched, you heard me? Y'all with me? We should have played a real dangerous game, you heard me? Watch this. Today at 7, be here. One of the most informational videos you have ever seen on YouTube. Putting a professional in the paint. True story. The real documentary. The top spot, I gotta have it. Silly rabbit. I swear, you don't want to miss this video. You see, I'm doing this for my youngest in the rack. You know, my seeds in the field. That never fear for war. Hug, squeeze that steel. For real. This music like this because he know it's a, a strategic way to get money. He said, like when he said, put a bad out, she was um, drop dead gorgeous. Vaughn knew exactly what he was talking about, but check this out. We all know KI wasn't gorgeous, but that's it. What they are, but listen, check this out. Vaughn even said something about the KI body. I forgot what video that was, but listen, this was like a year before Vaughn got took out. One of his videos, he said something about the KI, and, and then Vaughn said this here. He said they trying to. He said they trying to put. You know, he said every time something happened. They, um, they blame me. He said, they trying to put all the unsolved murders on me. This is exactly what Vaughn said right after he said a diss towards K.I. Vaughn was riding the fucking train, y'all. I forgot what song that I should remember what song it was, but I guarantee you somebody else heard in there. Y'all all probably heard it, because I know a lot of people that walk, listen to all Vaughn video. He said, and they said something about K.I. He said something about K.I. and all that. And then, because you can tell he was talking about K.I., he said something about him like body and her or something like that or, or something. He just said something, right? But he was riding the fan train. And right after that, he was like, all the unsolved bodies. He said, they blame every, they trying to blame everything on me. They trying to put all the unsolved bodies on me. See, Vaughn rode the fan train. Vaughn rode the fan train. Listen, for one, Vaughn know he never went to trial or never got tried for K.I.'s body. So Vaughn know for a fact to don't go up there rapping about K.I.'s body. He wouldn't have never rapped about it because he never got tried for it. Vaughn know that it was still an open case. You see what I'm saying? Vaughn know it was still an open case. The, the reports that they showing y'all, that's from way back then when they first got from Vaughn knew it was still an open case. But the only reason why Vaughn would do that and get up there and say that is because, like I told you the first time, the same why Vaughn went in there and asked them to give him a polygraph. If Vaughn did that to K.I., he's not asking for a polygraph. Hey, shout out to all my Vaughns. My Vaughness is definitely in the building. If you haven't checked out the last video, please go check out the last video. You see what I'm saying? It's a real informational video, and you need to see, especially people in the rap. I need all my people to share that video. You see what I'm saying? The reason why I want you to share that video is because um, we're finna play a real, real game. And I need my people to be right here with me, you guys, because this one right here, you guys, is finna be um, on another level, you guys, because the stuff I'm finna talk about in this video is, um, is vital, you guys. What I'm finna talk about in this video, and it's not only is it... Um, is it a real vital subject, a real vital information I'm going to put out there? It's also um, a dangerous game, you see? So, but at the end of the day, you know, it's it's it's, um, it's always for the youth. You feel what I'm saying? If you ain't out here trying to, like, um, 
make sure the youth cool and all that, and the next generation, our people up on us and all that. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to be on no 5% or no activist stuff and all that. No, it's just about being real. You see what I'm saying? Like, we was never grew up. We never grew up and was taught to um, let the children go in the wrong direction. You don't let the youth go in the wrong direction, especially a direction where they lose in their life. You know, adults, oh, you can't do nothing. When you run across these children, these youth, this is the time you um you, you express game to them. You give them game. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't know what a child can carry for the rest of his life, whatever you can told them. You see what I'm saying? You give them straight up 100 game that may help them down the line. You see what I'm saying? And me, myself, personally, um, I, I did. I do that all the time. I've been doing that all my life. But now we finna give him the game on, on a whole nother level. You see what I'm saying? We finna give him the game on a whole nother level. Now I'm gonna put some stuff together for y'all today. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna be information, and y'all need to be here at seven o'clock. The video gonna drop. It's gonna be um, exposing some um, some things. You know what I'm saying? And this is the um, this is the, the next level of exposure. You see? So. Um, a lot of people definitely might be ticked off, you see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's, it's for the people, man. It's for the people, man. You know, it was like this. It's like this here. Um, and this isn't, this what I'm going to say right here is it, it isn't to, um, to the subs and the fans and all this. It's to them. See, they watch me all day. I, I don't trip. They watch me all day. It's like, um, it was said to those people that, um, that, that, that I will never stop. And I guess... Y'all get the word, right? I guess y'all get the picture. Like, when I say it's for the people, man, it's really for the people. Like, certain things I'm not going to stand for, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't stand for them things. So at the end of the day, we're going we're gonna to make it right. You see what I'm saying? And that's from day one. I always let them boys know that uh, um, we ain't standing for that. As soon as I seen the type of actions they do, no, nah, we, do, we don't do that, man. You see what I'm saying? And then it was just, it's on from there. So basically, at the end of the day, you know, if you don't stand for nothing, you, you fall for anything. And that's one thing I never do is fall for nothing. You feel me? And this is why people is running around with them people because they, you know, like, I don't know these dudes. You see what I'm saying? I don't know these dudes, right? Like that. Like, I don't care what these dudes or know these dudes. These dudes from whole other states and cities, right? So this is why they was trying to make all this stuff up on YouTube. Oh, he going crazy. He did see that. You know, and people believed it and rabbed with it and all that. But we don't care about that because guess what? Man, crazy well. Look at my videos. See, everybody that's smart, they make you think they they try to make you think they're crazy. See, when you get to exposing things, this is their it's so old, y'all. This is the only thing they do. When Cat Williams got to expose him stuff, same stuff. He's going crazy. He's doing it. Ice Cube get to expose him. He's going crazy. He's doing it. Chop get to expose him. He's going crazy. He's doing this. He doing nah, he ain't going crazy. That's just what these people, the highly rumored people, want you to think. You see what I'm saying? And this is why they always mess with my videos because they know I'm speaking the truth. It's not not one YouTuber on YouTube that's on my level. I wouldn't care how many views they get or whoever they get. They get views because people put them in the algorithm. That Listen here, y'all. Listen here. I'm talking about a lot of stuff on that. I'm even talking about the dude who made that documentary. I'm putting him in the paint. The dude that made that documentary. Guess what? I'm going to tell y'all this here. Guess what he got paid? Guess what the dude got paid to do... Um, to, 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 to do the um, Vaughn video. They did all the intel. The Lord Trap dude, he did all the intel for him and all that. And guess how much that dude got paid already? Already he got 100K off Vaughn off that video. He already got 100K off that video already. And all of it was lies and intel that he put together, that he put together for those people. And this is why I got 100 racks for the video. I'm dropping some real stuff over here on my channel today. The top spot, I gotta have it. The top spot will not be ran and controlled by none of these people. We're gonna have the same amount of people that's listening to these lies and these false stories with the same amount of people who's listening to the truth, who's bringing the truth like me. So with my people, Please share my videos, let your children know, let everybody else know, because guess what? Everything I do, I do it for y'all. I do it for the people. I do it for my shorties in the rack that's in the field. No way on God's green earth am I finna sit up there and let these people eliminate all our shorties like that, y'all. Took too many already. Uh, I promise to God, I swear to God on Jesus Christ. This is why I became a YouTuber. This is why I became a YouTuber. This right here. As soon as I seen what these people was doing, I know they all on social media and all. This is why I became a YouTuber.
You see what I'm saying? This is why I became a YouTuber because I got to look at that thing. That first, I'm looking like, hold on, all these people who's reporting on Chicago and talking about they know facts. Listen, all the people in Chicago never knew nothing about KI with these bodies, never knew none of that stuff. Listen, I always told y'all that. I told y'all, I said, how is these people on social media that's not even know what none of these dudes is from the rack? How are they up here putting up bodies about shorting them? that people in Iraq don't even allegedly know these boys did this stuff, um, that allegedly did this. You see, what people in Iraq don't even know. I told y'all, I said, listen, how are you going to get on social media? Some dude from way from Detroit somewhere, some dude way from um, New York somewhere is going to tell you who got bodies in Chicago. All this stuff was made up from the beginning. Everybody know where it came from. It all kicked off on that DJ academic war in Chirac. And that's why dude, that Lord dude kept telling y'all this, that it was highly rumored. Who started the rumors? Everybody that know anything about any of these shorties in Chicago found out about them through DJ academic war in Chirac. And he got rewarded after those videos. That man was making 44000 a month just off the war in Chirac. 47000 a month off the war in Chirac. He got rewarded. They get they took him to complex and all that. And that's why he's up there like that now. And then he passed all the other information and everything else that he had to Trap Lord Ross, a dude way in Canada, because people started getting on academic bumper about him telling on the shorties in the rack. And that's why Vic Mensa went on the complex and said, I don't even rock what you do, called him out his name and said, cause Lil Trey Five was his cousin, the one that got took down and and DJ Academic tried to put that body on Little Reesey. Try to put it on Little Reesey. Try to put it on Little Reesey. They started off trying to get TB as well. And DJ Academic was the first one through the video up to my TB was one. No, he wasn't. Chicago World News through the TB video and said TB was one of the biggest hitters in the rack. And this is when I kept telling y'all, Chicago World News and DJ Academic is piggybacking on putting the shorties in the paint. Academic was doing a better job. They got to gain Academic more money. They promoted Academic and he passed it to Trap Lord Ross. Trap Lord Ross got 100K to do that documentary. And all half of that documentary is lies. And this is why I sat back all that time and gathered all that information from the thanks to the help of academic and all of And then they put that up there because Trap Lord Ross was put in a position to make Vaughn look like this serial killer. And this is why you had um, all of them prepping it up before Trap Lord Ross video dropped. And that's why he got Trenches News and Academic in there talking about Vaughn was a serial killer. You see what I'm saying? Y'all. Please be at the, this channel. Please be at this channel at 7 o'clock. Share my videos, y'all. Turn it up. Turn it up. I'm the only one speaking that real on this channel. Even the bloggers from the rack was with it, too. You got a few bloggers up there from Chicago that was with the play. And I will be putting them on Front Street in one minute. You see what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me, CPS and the rest of you boys? You see, the rest of you boys, it ain't hard for y'all to tell who all these people is. Just run down their timeline of videos and you will see all the federal paperwork. And this is why I tell y'all all the federal paperwork is videos, tweets. And this is why they was following Twitter and Instagram channels 24 hours a day. They following these boys channel. They came, the whole play was put together on these boys took half of my city out real to deal yeah, this for four years hundreds and thousands and millions of views was never monetized that's why they playing with my videos and all that stuff like that and then every time i'm on the road they coming with goofies like charleston white and they putting him everywhere all on vlad and everything using my information i'm the first one called dirt the devil i'm the first one said all of that stuff about king von i swear for god on jesus christ the whole style charleston white is using is mine all these tubers around here is using my style every last one of them the chicago bloggers that's with the play 
the Chicago bloggers that's with the play and all the rest of them. I can name every blogger that's with the play. And I'm going to do a video one day and I ain't going to say a word on it. I'm going to have every last one of those bloggers just flashing through the video and you will know who I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? While all of y'all trying to play games and get me out the way, you can't get me out the way. I'm too real. I am the streets, Goofy. I am the streets. Let me to tell you the difference between me and y'all. Your videos get people convicted. My videos get people free. Just ask Lil Wet. Gang, be there at 7 o'clock. You heard me? I am the realest on YouTube. I am the one for the people. I am the voice. Dirk ain't no voice. AK ain't no voice. None of them ain't the voice. I'm the voice. I'm the first one that stepped on Dirk on YouTube like that. And guess what? You ain't seen Dirk play with me, huh? You see Dirk doing sneak this. You see Dirk doing sneak this. But do I sneak this? Nope, everything I call Dirk, I get right on my channel and call him. And I'm a black disciple from normal. You see? You see what I'm talking about? And Dirk a baby. He a baby. Listen, I go at the elites. But I care about a gangbanger for. I go at the elites. But I care about the gangbanger for. I wipe Dirk nose right in front of his security. Dirk better understand. I don't got to get up here and talk about bodies. Everybody know I'm official since the 80s. You heard me? I'm official since the early 90s. When Dirk wasn't even thought of. You see what I'm saying? I'm official. I'm official. You ain't got to know how many I got. Because real killers don't get talked about. They get whispered about. And that's where y'all got the game messed up at. And that's where y'all got the game at. Listen, I didn't expose stuff on Dirk that people are supposed to be out of here about. I can put really put Dirk on Front Street. I can really tell how Dirk took his man's name out. I can really tell how Dirk took his man's name out. You see what I'm saying? I can really tell how Dirk took his man's out. Stop playing, Dirk. You remember this? You was buying guns for the screws, right? Strange, you was buying guns for the loose screws, and they was drilling the guys with them. Even yo guys, Strange, that's a whole nother video. If Dirk opened his mouth, I'm putting him on Front Street, on gang. Little Dirky old Banks, he's a kid. Gang, never want to sit up here and let this little clown set all our people up and do all this like, and then he run around like he's somebody. Man, you ain't nobody. You never put in no work. You never did nothing. Dirk a clown that just get caught with the bumpers. That's it. And he a rat too now. And if he contest it, he can't even contest it. Dirk is a rat. He can't contest it. I'll put you right on front street, you know, with the lick with Sam Adams Jr. When you got caught with that last bumper, now contest that. If Dirk saved my name one time, I'm putting him on front street and I'm putting paperwork out on Dirk Banks that he a snitch. And that's the realest thing I can tell you. Be there at 7 o'clock. Gang.